I am joined here today by Stacia Ortega and Stephen Gardner uh, with uh, Hospice of the Valley. Thank you very much for being with me here today. Uh, for those of us who live in the Valley, uh, most of us are, of course, very familiar with uh, Hospice of the Valley and appreciate the wonderful programs and services uh, that your organization provides at, at what is a very difficult time in, in people's lives. Um, we're here this morning, though, to talk about the Saluting Our Veterans program. And uh, it's something that connects volunteers with veterans who are in hospice. So, Stephen, I'd, I'd like to start with you, um, Hospice of the Valley's chaplain and military liaison and a veteran yourself. Uh, thank you for your service. Uh, can you tell us about the Saluting Our Veterans program? Well, the program is designed to honor veterans who are at end of life and to give their families some sort of support or as well in terms of recognizing their loved ones, spent time in the service. And this is a, not just a token, not just a ceremony, but it's really an experience that makes that veteran feel really loved and really honored. If it's about honoring our veterans, what, what does that look like? So how does it take shape? Generally, what we have, a, if we know what branch of service they're in, we try to you know, get a flag for that particular branch, whether it be you know, Army or Marine or whatever it might be. Secondly, we have a pen, and the pen says, you know, we, uh, we honor you, you know, from Hospice of the Valley. And then sometimes, you know, besides that, we may give them a card or something that also speaks to that. And then while we're standing there at their bedside or if they're in their home, you know, with their family members, we actually render a salute. Sometimes team members, you know, that are actually serving that particular uh, patient will also be present. The social worker or the chaplain, maybe the nurse will be standing by and it's recorded so that the families can actually have a piece that they can remember a little bit later. Most of the time, we've always had some positive feedback in terms of the family really thanking us for what we're doing and especially thanking us for the service that we are uh, providing for their veteran loved one. You talked a little bit about uh, Vietnam veterans and, and maybe uh, something even more significant for, for many of those folks who are our our largest uh, population of veterans right now are Vietnam veterans. So um, how is it maybe especially meaningful for that group? Well, generally, you know, most of the time veterans hear the phrase, you know, thank you for your service, thank you for your service. That's kind of what we experience now uh, as veterans. But however, the politics was different when Vietnam veterans returned, you know, from, you know, from combat. They get off the plane, they were spat upon, they were called baby killers. They did not get this recognition. What we've done at Hospice of the Valley is to give a special recognition. Not only are we thanking them for their service, but we have another pen that's designed just for those who are Vietnam veterans, and we tell them additionally, welcome home. So they finally get that, that welcome home that they didn't receive at the time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, that's wonderful. Um, those of us who have served know how incredibly impactful that, that service is on the rest of our lives, even, even if you were in for only a brief period of time. So it seems like this program is, is an acknowledgement um, of how important military service is to someone. Is that your experience? Yeah, absolutely. It, absolutely true. Because, you know, for number one, the liberty that we have, that we experience in our country has been paid soldiers and airmen and Marines have paid the price and paved the way so we can enjoy that freedom. To be appreciated for that is huge. And when we have a veteran volunteer that can actually be there with that veteran near end of life, that connection is powerful because it lets them feel like that not only did the, not only did the um, contribution that I made in the military is meaningful, but now as I'm getting ready to exit this life, I can know for a fact that, that I did make a difference. And so we try to bridge that gap, you know, uh, toward the very end. Now, um, Stacia, you are the Hospice of the Valley's uh, Director of Volunteers. Uh, are you having success recruiting volunteers for this program? Yes, we have been very successful. Um, we do have a need for more veteran volunteers, so we would love to have more people join our team. Um, these volunteers are so highly committed 
to making sure that fellow veterans get this care. And um, we are happy to provide training and support to help uh, new veterans join our team. So we started our program back in 2011. And since that time, we've been able to honor over 3,000 veterans on our service. And, and what has the response been from the families and the veterans themselves? It's incredible. It's one of our most loved uh, programs. Um, I think, as Stephen pointed out, that as people face end of life, these um, our, our past experiences surface, and it's important for people to have a moment to connect with another veteran and be able to share that and be able to talk to somebody who really understands and has um, been in those similar shoes. So we, ha we get great response. We um, get so much gratitude from the families and for the patients themselves, and even patients who are not able to maybe articulate at the end of life. We've had patients that are nonverbal that actually will salute a veteran back during their visit. It's, it's just amazing. <laughs> well, it does sound like an amazing program, and I can tell you're both personally passionate about helping make these connections for veterans. Stephen, I know you also personally have been at the bedside in, in some of these situations. Um, are there any um, stories or examples of a particular, particularly meaningful interaction that, that you can recall or would like to share with us? I think one in particular is that sometimes these veteran volunteers, they have no family. You know, either all their families are, have gone or they may be the only one that's left. And so when I've been there and I had the opportunity to spend time with a veteran that near end of life, you look on their wall, you can see their ribbons, you can see their, uh, you can see their certificates, you can even see their uniform they have in the corner. And to have a veteran come in, like myself, to sit down with them, it really made that meaningful for them, but it also made it meaningful for me that I got a chance to join them on their journey and to be part of their last minutes of this time. Well, Stacia, um, how can someone out there who wants to help with this program, how could someone do that? They can go to our website at hov.org and under our volunteer tab, they, there's an application, there's information about our Saluting the Veterans program. They can contact us at um, 602-530-6900 and the volunteer department would be happy to talk with them and, and help them with next steps. And we're happy to have anybody join our team. Well, that's wonderful. Are, are there any other Hospice of the Valley uh, programs you would like to uh, talk about during our chat? Well, there's so many, but I will share with you that we had a spinoff of our Saluting the Veterans program, and it is our first responders program. And this idea came to us from one of our veteran volunteers who, uh, when he uh, retired from the military, became a police officer. And he, he came forward and shared that he felt that many first responders share similar experiences and um, felt that it would be important to have first responders visit first responders when they're at end of life. And so we um, started that program and we're very proud of it. It's called Honoring Our First Responders. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I, I really appreciate everything that, that Hospice of the Valley does uh, uh, all the time, but certainly uh, this program to honor our veterans and first responders who many of, uh, many of our veterans also find careers as first responders. So um, thank you so much for everything you're, you're putting into this program. 